today in South Africa, okay, it is the 11th of July, and uh, I have a prophetic word for the nation. This is Dr. Arthur Frost. I just want to just welcome you to the session tonight. And just before we begin, can I ask you, please, as you come online, could I ask you, please, to hit that share button on Facebook? I know it's not something that you might ordinarily do, but please, I'm asking, this is quite an in critical uh, message tonight, and I trust that as you just hit that share button, that we could just get the word out to as many as possible. So let's just open up in prayer as we begin. Lord, we just thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you've got a plan and a destiny for our nation. And Lord, I just pray that as we get around your word, Father, I thank you that you are going to speak clearly, and Lord, that we are going to know exactly what to do. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm really, really excited about this, because what has happened is this, is for the last six months, if not a little bit longer, the atmosphere in South Africa's spiritual atmosphere has been very murky. All right, we haven't been able to get clear-cut direction. I've been looking out and speaking to many leaders, and we have not been able to get a clear word of the Lord to know what to do next and what the next step should be and how fast we should progress or what to do. And so I'm going to explain um, exactly why this was so important. All right, so this session is going to be a little bit lengthy because I have a tremendous amount to put into this session tonight. And so I trust that you would just take a pen and paper if you have and just start taking notes and taking key points as we start going through this. So as a way of introduction, I just want to just start with this. I have a gifting as an apostle. All right, so what does that mean? It means that an apostle can actually operate in the other fivefold giftings. All right, whether it be, um, you know, a teacher or whether it be and most people know me as a teacher, all right, whether it be prophetic. Now, I want to make something clear, that I am not a prophet, okay? I'm an apostle, and I can operate prophetically. And so this is what has happened uh, today. And that is this, God has given me, I believe that God has given me a word for our nation. I'm going to ask you to do two things. I'm going to ask you to jot down and then evaluate what I am saying. Evaluate and go and check it out. Because we need to know if this is a true word of the Lord. If this thing resonates with your spirit. And you have peace with what I have to say tonight. Then it means we need to take it to the next step. And that is we need to go into action. And so this evening I'm going to go through the season that our nation's in. What I believe God is saying for our nation. And some of it is going to be quite radical. Some of it is going to be quite um, a shift for us. But I do believe that God is busy with something amazing. So let's get right into it. First thing that I had to find out from God is what is the Lord saying around the season? Because the season that we, we've just come through has been very, uh, it's been very turmoil. There's been a lot of turmoil, very, a huge amount of uncertainty, a lot of fear. And so we really needed to find out, because the Bible speaks about that as you come closer to the end times, perilous times will come. Now perilous literally means very hectic times. Things that you'd look and say, I don't believe that this is actually happening. Now there are many things that are happening around the world that we can already identify as a perilous statement, where wrong will be seen as right and right is wrong. Okay, but we needed to find out, God, what is happening in our nation? Is this genuinely the end times that is coming in full force right now? And which means that we need to equip the body a certain way. All right, we, we equip the body on how to stand and how to just keep resisting and getting ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? Or is this Satan taking a chance and putting things in our nation prematurely? Because if that's the case, then the body of Christ needs to stand and fight and push this thing off. 
You see, we needed to hear from the Lord which way this was going. And we, once you know which way it's going, you are able to then determine the route or the plan or the action that needs to take place. And so I want to just tell you this. I'd really been praying about this for the whole six months at least. And I never got a clear word until this week. And this is the word that I got from the Lord. Not now. I asked God, what do you mean not now? And God said, this is not the end times. This is not, a, and a, please don't misunderstand me. The end times has begun. All right, we are getting there. But it's not the intensity that I was expecting or where I needed to sit down and help equip the body of Christ to a last stand idea. And so God said to me, not now. So what does that mean? It means that if the body of Christ stands up, if the body of Christ starts rejecting the demonic spirit that's coming against South Africa, we are going to be able to resist it and we are going to be able to turn it in Jesus' name. And so this is really important because this thing has now determined where we are going and what we are going to be focusing on. So as I go through this whole evening, I want you to understand that the whole evening is a prophetic word. Every step, every angle that I discuss, I believe that it's a word for the church. And I believe that it's something that God wants us to start looking at. And when I say the church, I'm not talking about a particular church, denomination, or a group. I'm talking about the believers of South Africa. So South Africa, I'm very excited about this word. I believe that God is busy stirring us up. And he's going to get us into a transition that is coming. And so I'm going to go through this. And having spoken to a lot of leaders, what I'd share with you is the conclusion as to where we're at and what to do next. So I want us just to quickly recap so that you can understand the season that we're in right now. You see, what first needed to happen was the following was that God wanted to restore the fivefold ministry to the body of Christ. So if we go look over the last few years, and you will see how the fivefold ministry has been restored. God started in the 60s restoring the evangelists, the function of the evangelist. If you go look around the world, you would never have seen as many evangelists um, being exposed and praying for the sick, people like A.A. A. Allen. I mean, you just name them one after the next. Mighty men of God, Oral Roberts. I mean, you can just name them. All right? And that came around in the 60s. And then in the 70s, God came and restored the pastoral function. This was with the faith movement. This is where the churches started to become mega churches, the big churches. And where people started to flock. And all of a sudden, the body of Christ was starting to gather in huge numbers in different churches and different denominations. And then in the 80s, we saw the teacher function being restored. I can tell you now, we have never seen as much revelation being poured out as we saw in the 80s. All right, the revelation of God's word, the insight, the principles, it was just coming at a rate of knots that we couldn't keep up. And then the 90s, we saw the restoration of the prophetic. The prophets came. And they were raised all over the place. And they were starting to give direction. They were starting to give purpose. And it was something to see how God started to raise up the prophets around the world. And then around the, the 2000 mark, the apostles started to rise up. All right, these are the guys that came and had to lay the foundation and work out the plans and they had to come and be part of the foundational functions in the church, in the body of Christ. The Bible says that the apostolic prophetic function, those two functions, lay the foundation in the body of Christ. But what is interesting and very significant for me is around the 2020 mark, 
I see the believers move starting. Now what we are experiencing and have experienced is the following. That many believers started to leave structured church. Many believers started to move away from structured church. And I asked God, why is this happening? Why are believers leaving a church, for instance, that they've been in with 16 years, 20 years? They love the Lord Jesus Christ, but they are starting to gravitate away from the church building and the normal tradition of church. Now I'm going to make some radical statements tonight, and this is why I'm asking that you check out the word that I have, and I want you to listen very carefully as to what I believe God is busy doing in this season. I want to make a statement. I believe that the concept or idea of the mega church, that season has come to an end. All right, the concept of these big church gatherings, that concept has come to an end. Now, why do I say that? I'm going to give you the answer in a minute. But I want us to go to scripture quickly. I want us to go to Matthew chapter 9 verse 17. And it says this. Nor do they put new wine into old wineskins. Or else the wineskins break. And the wine is spilled. And the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins. And both are preserved. So let me explain what I believe is happening now. When I said around the 70s, the pastoral function was restored and the churches were coming in mass, the people were coming in mass. That was a time where God was bringing the body of Christ together so that the rest of the fivefold could be re restored and ready for it. That season was necessary. That season was important. I remember writing to the 80s. I was part of mega churches. I want to tell you right now, it was one of the most exciting time frames, the most exciting seasons. And I want to tell you that we learned so much, we grew. But God is saying something specifically right now. He says this, that season of that wineskin has come to an end. And so this is the prophetic word to the body of Christ. If we go back to the old, we are never going to see the fulfillment of what is needed in our nation. And I'm going to take you through this step by step. I know that this is very radical for most of us. We are not to go back to the old system. What is the old system? Where you sit in church and you are inactive. Where you go to church, you listen to a word. It could be the most incredible word. You walk out there and say, what an incredible revelation. God is saying, listen, those days are over. The season that we are going into is where the body of Christ is equipped and activated. Equipped and activated. Where the body of Christ is actually going to be moving and doing the work of the ministry. Remember that if you go read in Ephesians, the fivefold ministry is to equip the body for the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry is not for the pastors or those in the pulpits anymore. The work of the ministry has moved to the believers equipping. And so I want to tell you right now, our testing as believers is going to be the following. Are we prepared to get equipped and start moving? Or are we going to try and go back to the old system? I want to tell you right now that the old system, in a sense, is a prison. Okay? It is an old wineskin. That season has come to an end. It is the same as when Israel was in Egypt. And they left, but they kept on wanting to go back because that is what they were comfortable with. That is what they were used to. And so I want to give you a strategy that I believe that God has been dealing with me for a few years already. 
and has been telling me about where the church of Jesus Christ should go. I believe that if we grasp this and start functioning on this level, I believe that we are going to see some of the most incredible things happen in South Africa. I want to tell you right now, all of the chaos, all of the turmoil is going to be settled, changed, and totally reversed if the church of Jesus Christ takes hold of this word tonight. And so let me explain. I believe that God is busy raising up the body of Christ to go into small groups. And I had a picture of a military operation. And if you were in the military, you would understand that there are platoons. Now, a platoon is about 40 people. But inside a platoon are little units. Units could be five, three to five people, six people. they small amount of people. But every unit had one specific job. So in other words, one unit might have to sort out the mortars. The other unit might have to sort out the machine guns. And so every unit had one assignment. And so I had a picture of these small groups scattered all over our nation. Not focusing on the building and the masses coming together just to sit and get a sermon anymore. But actually getting equipped. And every little group, every little group got equipped. Number two, number one, they get equipped. Every little group or every little unit, number two, starts ministering to that little group that they're in. Let me give you an example. They will go, for instance, if you've got four or five people, you'll go to each one's block where they stay, and as a group, you just walk around their block. And as you walk around their block, you are creating a spiritual environment around that area. And thirdly, as a, as a unit or a little group, they choose one assignment. What is that assignment? Whatever God lays on their heart. Let me give you an example. One group could decide we are going to adopt our local hospital. The other group says we'll take the, low, the primary school. The other one says we'll take the high school. The other one says we'll take the airport. The other one says we'll take the harbor. The other one says we'll take the municipality. The other one says we'll take the police station. And so every little group adopts one assignment. And what they do is they become faithful in that assignment. And so what is that going to do? It is going to create an umbrella, a spiritual umbrella where the atmosphere is controlled by the spirit of the living God. And so I believe that if the church of Jesus Christ takes hold of this and says, God, we are ready for this new season. We are going to lay aside the old wineskin. We are going to get equipped and we are going to get activated. I believe with all my heart that there is going to be a major shift in our nation. There's going to be a major turnaround in our nation. I believe that God is going to do something phenomenal in our nation. You know, many of us have looked at what's going on and said, God, where is the justice? Where is the fairness? I'm telling you right now, God has been waiting for the church to make a decision. It is up to the church of Jesus Christ as to where our nation is going to end up. If the body of Christ decide that we are going to go this route and we are going to get equipped, and it doesn't matter what church, it doesn't matter what group you're in, but if you go and report in small units and say as a small unit, we are going to get equipped and we're going to get activated, I want to tell you right now there's going to be a major shift in our nation. And God showed me something very clearly. 
He will keep giving those that are out of line a chance. But there will be a time where their time will run out. Any form of leadership, whether it be municipal, whether it be national leadership, no matter who they are, as long as we stick to biblical principle, God will sort out what needs to be sorted out. Many people have said there's absolute chaos or trouble happening in our nation right now as we speak. I want to tell you right now that God is in control. I want to give you a scripture. Mark chapter 3, 24 to 25 says this. If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, the house cannot stand. I want to give a prophetic word today. If the church of Jesus Christ in our nation stands strong and creates a spiritual umbrella, God is going to intervene on all levels. What we are seeing right now is that many houses are divided. And God is going to get people to start turning on themselves if they will not repent. God will create absolute chaos in the enemy's camp if they go against the word of the Lord. I want to tell you right now, it is still dependent on the church. It is dependent on us as believers. If we are going to stand strong and we are going to stand secure. If we are going to get equipped and we are going to start being proactive. So we've got a few things to decide tonight. Do we want change? Because I believe with all my heart that certain things are coming to our nation. If the church of Jesus Christ genuinely comes in line and gets equipped and starts functioning, this is what I believe we can see in the future. I believe that there's going to be a major, a major revival in our nation. I believe that we are going to see the biggest revival that we've ever seen of men and women coming to the Lord. One of the biggest secrets of the revival, the Welsh revival, any of the best of revivals, has been that people had sought God to an extent that the presence of God was physically felt all over the place. I want to tell you right now, if the body of Christ is calling on God, if the body of Christ is actively going to keep the atmosphere open, I want to tell you right now, the first thing that's going to happen is people are going to want to come to the Lord. And so when they come to the Lord, we're not going to take them back to big buildings. We are going to get them into units and get them going from the minute they get saved. Because it now is the time for the saints to be equipped in Jesus' name. I'm so excited about the word, the not now. This is not the time for the, the, the assignment and the things that the, the devil has planned for our nation. So let's just recap as I go through. Number one, there's going to be a major revival in our nation. Number two, I believe that the plan and the strategy that Satan has for our nation is going to be reversed. The agendas that have been planned to destroy our nation are going to be reversed. God is going to bring absolute confusion into the enemy's camp. He's going to bring other issues that they're going to be sidelined and they're going to forget about South Africa. There's going to be so many things happening. But the power of Jesus Christ is going to be seen in our nation. And we are going to see some of the most exciting things take place. Because number three... I believe that we are going to see the full power of Jesus Christ being released through the body. We are going to see supernatural miracles taking place that we have not been seeing in the last few years. And I don't mean minor miracles, I mean raising from the dead. People being supernaturally healed from COVID on their deathbeds. Where people will stand in front of the hospital and declare life and the people get healed in their beds. I believe that the season is coming where the body of Christ is going to operate in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I believe that we're going to see power 
flowing across our nation like never before. Number four. I believe that there's going to be a major youth revival in this nation. It has been prophesied by some of the strongest prophets for years. I believe that God has almost kept the youth, okay, from being, and please excuse me when I say this, but being contaminated by some of the doctrine or some of the ideas or ideologies of the church. I think that God has protected some of the youth that they are still pure. They don't have to unlearn things. They can just get going. I believe that there's going to be a major move in our nation with the young people. I am looking for young people that are going to prophesy. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I'm going to see how children are going to have the word of the Lord. And we're still going to put them on feeds. And say this is the word of the Lord from an eight year old. You are going to see how God is going to turn this nation around. You are going to see the power of God like you've never seen before. I think we are number five. Number five, you are going to see the watchmen take their places. You are going to see men and women that are sensitive to the spirit. That are going to be sensitive in the area and pick up very quickly what is going on. They are going to be able to understand that there's been a shift in this atmosphere. Something has happened in that school or something has happened in that hospital or something has happened at the airport. And there is going to be a major army of watchmen being raised up in our nation. Men and women that are going to be just checking and scanning the atmospheres. Knowing what is going on spiritually. And so I believe that we are entering into the time that is the most privileged time for us to be alive. Saints, don't look at the commotion and the chaos around us. That chaos has been there for a purpose. It has been there for us as believers to make a choice. For us to be broken from our system and our habits. Now I know that Satan has tried to use it to destroy the church. I know that many have felt despair. Many have felt lonely and felt like, listen, I can't carry on like this. I want to tell you right now, God is using this time. I want to tell you that this is the time that the church is going to be the strongest that you've ever seen before. So what can we expect short term? I want to tell you that in the next season, when I say next season, literally weeks and months, you are going to see the apostolic prophetic function stand up in this nation. You're going to see real apostolic fathers standing up and saying, this is the way, A, B, C. These are the steps. Let's go do it. They'll have the word of the Lord. They'll have direct direction on what to do. You're going to have prophets stand up and give prophetic word over the nation. Prophets will give clear-cut direction as to what God wants and if there are any conditions that are attached to it. I want to tell you right now that this is a time for you to prepare and to be ready for what is coming. I believe that we are in for the most exciting time that the church has ever seen. And we are going to be part of pushing back the agendas that have been so busy trying to take our nation. Because now is not the time. Now is the time for the body of Christ to get ready for the new wineskin. And so I want us to get ready for this. The number six, I think it's number six, seven. Okay. Sorry, I didn't put these in points. I think we're on number six. Is it six? All right, number six. I want you to get ready. Soon there's going to be a 24-hour prayer going up across our nation. There's going to be a prayer covering that's going to come 24 hours across our nation. I want to commend, I want to thank all of the intercessors and the prophetic folk 
that have been carrying our nation for so long. I want to tell you that they have been tirelessly getting up in the hours, carrying the church, carrying the body, carrying our nation, carrying the leadership. But I want to tell you right now, there's going to be a shift. The shift is not going to just be those that are called for intercession. It's going to be for the body of Christ. There is going to come a genuine call of prayer across this nation. And with that prayer, there's going to be a release of angels that are going to minister right across this nation. And so do not be dismayed, do not be perplexed, do not be nervous about the signs of COVID or the instability that you hear about in our nation right now. Know that if the Church of Jesus Christ accepts and is, allows themselves to be equipped, I want to tell you right now, this entire situation is going to turn very quickly. I can tell you right now, if we grip this thing and order ourselves, the word can be brought into a very simple thing. It's time for the army of Jesus Christ to be ordered. Now listen very carefully. Order is not control. We are not telling you what to do. We are giving you guidelines and saying this is how you can do it to see the results. I'm going to be um, recording some teachings on how to control your environment, your spiritual environment. All right, we already have how to bless your land or your property. I'm going to do a few recordings on how to control your environment. How to keep the spiritual atmosphere open and clean and godly above your area, your suburb where you stay. And we are going to teach the body of Christ and give you the tools. But our biggest challenge and question tonight is this. Are you prepared to give up the old? Are you prepared to release the old way of doing church? And the old structure? It was needed. It was important. It helped the body. It protected the body. It kept the body together. But the season has changed. And the season right now is the believers, the saints season. To be equipped and to be activated. And so we are going to give you the tools. But you have to make that decision. And so over the next few weeks, we are going to start giving you step by step what to do next. We're going to give you your package. And we are going to trust God. And if we have something to pray over, pray this. That God will start raising up and exposing the apostles and the prophets to come and stand together. So that we can genuinely equip the body of Christ and get this going. Because I believe that now is the season. Saints, I'm so excited. I can't wait for the youth movement to get together. I can't wait when young people who are full of zeal, they don't think. They do it first and talk later. I tell you what, we need that Peter type spirit running around. Where they just believe God's word and go and do it. I want to tell you right now. God is raising up. The church of Jesus Christ in South Africa. All of the prophetic words that have been given over our nation are going to come to pass. South Africa will be the breadbasket of this continent. South Africa will see the blessing and the power of God and revival break through. From Cape right through this continent. I know like I know. That God is in control. But saints it's time for us to get ordered. 
And so I want to leave you with that tonight. I want you to evaluate the word. I want you to decide if you are going to, even if you believe this is God and this is the season, then we're going to have to make some decisions. And one of the first decisions is, God, I want to be part of this army. I want to be a unit. I want to be a small group. I want to be equipped. And I want to be activated in Jesus' name. And from my side, I will keep giving the guidance as I believe God is leading us. I will give the tools as far as possible. I will bring in people with different giftings. I want to make this very clear. Not one person can carry this. It's not reliant on my gifting. It's not reliant on any individual's gifting. We need the body of Christ with similar functions to stand together. And so I want you to be prepared for this. Pray that God will draw these men and women together. So that we are ready for the season. But I do believe that if the church of Jesus Christ can get ourselves going, we're going to have a new South Africa within six months. I believe it's not going to take long. Because all we have to do as a unit is control the spiritual environment where we are. And corporately, God is going to turn something across our nation. I want you just to get this picture. All over South Africa, we got these little groups going. And we're talking about literally thousands upon thousands of groups. And everyone is getting equipped and they've got their assignment. They are praying over the hospital or the school or the airport or the shopping center, whatever they've chosen for their assignment. On top of that, you've got a 24-hour prayer going across our nation. On top of that, you've got the watchmen standing up in every town, watching to see what is going on and ready to announce and say, guys, get ready, here's a problem. On top of that, we've got corporate prayer times and corporate um, communion and praying together. I want to tell you right now, when the body of Christ come into unity, God is going to take care of the leadership, any leadership that's out of whack. God works as follows. He says that he's got the king's heart in his hand and he will turn him whichever way he goes. But if they stay rebellious, God will give them time and time again to repent. But then God starts removing people. You don't even have to pray for that. You keep praying for leadership saying, God, you have your way. God is going to do something supernatural in our nation in Jesus' name. And God is going to help us so that we stand united as the body of Christ and release the power of God over this nation. And we're going to see some of the most incredible miracles. Some of the most incredible things start taking place. Because of the roots and the years of prayer and solid foundation that has gone into our nation. God is not going to let our nation just fall apart like this. And so Satan's agendas are going to be reversed very quickly. Because the body of Christ is standing up as an army. So from my side... I want to leave you with one simple question. Are you prepared to give up the old wineskin? And only you can answer that. And I believe that this is the season that God is going to raise up units. They're going to be Bible study groups, fellowship groups, home cells, whatever you want to call it. But they're going to be units, small units of God's army with an assignment. And they are going to turn this nation around in the spirit like we've never seen. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you right now for your word and for your promises. Lord, I pray for every single believer in our nation. I thank you, Lord, that now is the time for the saints to stand up. 
Now is the time for the equipping to come. Lord, I thank you that the word for South Africa is not now. The word for South Africa is if the church will listen and hear my voice, revival will come. Lord, I thank you right now that you are stirring in each one of our hearts. Lord, I thank you that you are busy lining us up and getting us into order. Father, I pray right now that you will raise up the apostles and the prophets, that they will stand strong, stand together, and be ready to take this task on. Lord, I pray right now for a supernatural move of your spirit across our nation. I thank you, Lord, that the youth are going to be on fire. I thank you for the revival and the miracle and the supernatural power of God that's going to be released. Lord, I pray for the watchmen that are going to stand up in the towns. Lord, I pray for the saints that are going to be part of the 24-7 prayer that's going to be across our nation in Jesus' name. Lord, that we will constantly keep the atmospheres open in Jesus' name. Spiritually, we will turn whatever the devil tries. Father, we thank you for the body of Christ. We thank you for this time. And we thank you, Lord, that you're going to do something supernatural in and through every believer in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Saints, if you need to get hold of us, I'm going to just give you an email. You could go to believers at fathersart.co.za if you need to contact me. Believers at fathersart.co.za All right, so from my side, I'm going to ask you please to evaluate the word. Evaluate the word and go and see if this resonates with you. If it does, I want you to report for duty. Go into your small group. Play this with them. Play this with your, your leadership. And say this is what we believe God is saying. Let them test it. I believe in testing the word. But if this resonates, saints, it's time that we stand up in Jesus' name. So from my side, I want to say God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I want to tell you right now, I can't tell you how excited I am. Because I know that God's given us a word. We've got a strategy. We know what to do. And we are going to do it in Jesus' name. And I am going to be around to see the revival come to South Africa. The words, the promises, the prophetic words that have been given all the years are going to come. We are living in the most exciting times. And this heaviness is going to be reversed in Jesus' name. These onslaughts are going to be reversed in Jesus' name. So God bless you, saints. And we're going to chat again soon. This is Dr. Arthur Frost saying, have a wonderful evening. And we're going to chat again. Amen.